Hello everybody, welcome back to Math 2413, more on math. Today we're going to talk about Chapter 3, Section 6, the chain rule. What this one, this rule talks about is when you have a function within a function. All it tells you to do is first take a derivative of the outer function, then multiply by what's on the inside. For example, Let's say y equals 3x squared plus 2x to the fifth. This is a function inside a bigger function. So what the rule says here is take the derivative of the outer function of this one. So it's bring down the 5, subtract 1, leave the inside alone. Then, when you do that, now we'll multiply the derivative of the inside. The derivative of the inside would be 6x plus 2. Now we can combine. So 5 times 6 is 30x. 5 times 2 is 10. Times... 3x squared plus 2x to the fourth power. There's a derivative. So that's what we're going to do in this section. Let's look at the sheets. Chapter 6, question number 1. All right. Another way you can look at this. Here's the outer function. 8u minus 1, and there's the inner function. So what we really have to do is, according to this, take the derivative of the outer function, so with respect to u, so 8u minus 1, that's a, so it's just 8. Now, since that's the inside, take a derivative of the inside. So you have 1 fourth, the derivative of x, is bring down the 8, Subtract 1. So 4 and 8 cancel. So it's 2x to the 7th. And that's it. Take the derivative of the outside times. So now I take this on the outside, multiply it by this. So my dy dx is 8 times 2x to the 7th which is 16x to the 7th, and that's the answer. All right. Number two, write the function below in the form of y equals f of u and u equals g of x. Then find the derivative. The outer function, so y equals u to the fifth, and u is what's inside, 4x plus 3. So, right, the fu, so the question is going to be, so fu is u to the fifth. G of, so it's C. Can't be that because there's no 4 in front of there. And that, no. So, it's, so now we take the, take the derivative. We take the derivative of both of those and multiply them together. And put the U back in there. So, the derivative of F of U is 5u to the 4th, and the derivative of g of x is 4. So the answer is, okay, 5 times 4 is 20, u to the 4. So 20, u, this is, is g of x, so it's 
4x plus 3 to the fourth. There's your answer. That goes in there. This is more prevalent in, remember, the, the derivative of e to the power u is du eu. So if, you, if this is a function, then take the derivative of it and multiply it by whatever it is. That original statement. For example, our u here is 7, 8, x so I mean this has to stay where it is the u stays where it is so whatever it is that has to be in the answer so now we have to take the derivative of that which is a 7 eighths so there's the du so it's going to be 7 over 8 e to the 7 over 8 x. There's a derivative. So y is e to the power u. And u is the exponent, since that's the part with the x in it. 7 over 8 x. And the answer is 7 over 8 e 7x over 8. There's the answer. Number 4. Okay, now we have a lot of pieces here. x times e of, e of u. So, it's, this one's a product rule. x times e to the power negative 5x plus 3e x to the fifth. This is f and g. e to the negative 3x. So f prime is 1. g prime, the derivative of that is negative 3. e to the negative 3x. So now we're going to do the fishy thing. Since this is the product, you have to add. So the derivative. 1 times, so it's e to the negative 3x. Where did I put negative 3x? Negative 6x. Negative 6x. So it's negative 6. Okay, so that plus this, that's a minus. 6x e to the negative 6x plus the derivative of x to the fifth is 5x to the fourth. So 5 times 3 is 15 x to the fourth e x to the fifth. Because this can never change. It always has to stay there. Just the derivative of, of the exponent, which is 5x to the 4th, times 3. And there we have it. This whole big thing is the derivative. You have to do it in pieces. Right, the next page. Find the derivative of the function. The same with trigonometric functions. 
this is the same as cosine u and u is e to the negative 2 theta to the third right so the derivative of cosine sine cosine cosine is a negative sine times the derivative of the inside the derivative of the inside is the derivative of e to the negative th 2 theta cubed is the derivative of that, which is negative 6 theta squared e negative 2 theta cubed. Negative times negative is a positive. So we have 6 theta squared e to theta cubed sine e theta cubed. That goes to that box. Number six. Again, this one has lots of pieces also. Number six. First, I take the derivative of the outside. So that's the derivative of the outside, not the derivative of the inside. We have a product rule. T tan t derivative of tangent secant squared. Since it's a product, we have to add those. So it's tangent plus t secant squared t. All those go back here. So we have 12 t tangent t to the 11th tangent t plus t secant squared t. Simplify that, that goes in there. We have this part times that part times it. Okay, so it's multiple pieces. So, look, first off, we look at the product rule. So, we have. 2t three t squared minus four cubed. The derivative of two t is two. The derivative of this one. Derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside, which is two times three is six t, which becomes eighteen t. So our derivative is 2 
times 3t squared minus 4 cubed plus 2t times 18t 3t squared minus 4 squared Two T times eight, that's thirty six T squared there's a flux here. You get poopies right there. equal to 2t three t squared minus four cubed all right so we have different pieces here F, this is G. Two times two, the derivative of two T is two. I just want to be very careful. Driven to the outside. Times the derivative of the inside. 6t. So that makes it 18t. 3t squared, 4 squared. So do the fishy thing. Two times three t squared minus four cubed plus two t times eighteen t squared three t squared minus four squared. Now combine like, uh, combine here. Two, this is y prime of course. T times 18 is 36t. 3t squared minus 4 squared. Okay. Okay, they both have that in common. So I can factor out that. Okay. 
if I take it, okay, so that would use 3t squared minus 4. Plus 18t squared. Because that's gone out here. That's good, okay. Plus three is twenty one T squared minus four. Times two twenty one is forty two T squared minus eight. There. So where's that one go? Right here. Yeah, so that's three T squared minus four squared, forty two T squared minus eight. That was in there from all this stuff. Okay, number eight. Find the values f of g. It means composite function at x equals four. So that's what we've been doing all along. It's so take a derivative of the outer function, which is basically this is what it's asking. Asking y equals cosine pi over 24. U is 6 radical x. So it's pi radical x over 4 cosine. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine times the derivative of the inside here, which is pi over 4, that's a constant, uh, derivative of x squared is 1 over x which makes it 1 over 2 radical x. Pi radical x over 4 times pi over 8 radical x. Negative sine square root of four over four pi eight square root of four. Negative sine square root of four is two, so it's two pi over four pi over sixteen. So negative sine pi over 2 pi over 16 
negative sine pi over 2. Pi over 2 is 1, so it's negative 1 pi over 16, which is negative pi over 16. So that's this one. Negative pi over 16. And the last one. Find the tangent to this when x equals 0. Alright, so let's look at what the equation looks like. x minus 2 over x plus 1 squared. Mm -hmm. mm. No, it's squared over the whole thing. Okay, so the derivative, take the derivative of the outside, x minus 2, x plus 1, times the derivative of the inside. f is x minus 2, g is x plus 1, so f prime is 1, g prime is 1. Since division is minus, so it's x plus 1 minus x minus 2, I have to put parentheses because it's a minus sign, over x plus 1 squared. x minus 2 x plus 1 so it's x plus 1 minus x plus 2 x plus 1 squared the x's cancel it's 2 x minus 2 x plus 1 1 plus 2 is 3 x plus 1 squared when x equals 0. So we have 2, negative 2 over 1, 3 over 1, Three times two is six is negative twelve. So that's my slope. Now I just need a point. That's my slope. I need a point. So I have x is zero and plug in. So y equals zero minus two. 0 plus 1 squared. So it's negative 2 over 1 squared is 4. So the point is at 0, 4, and the slope is negative 12. We have to find the b value, so we use y equals mx plus b. 4 equals negative 12 times 0 plus b. So b equals 4. So y equals negative 12x plus 4. That's your answer. Negative 12x plus 4. The y equals. It's asking for an equation. So y equals negative 12x plus 4. Alright, I hope that helped.
Good luck, everybody.